Another handy utility they added in CS 5.5 is create orbit null for a camera. I'm in the same project for chapter 14 of CMG, and for this demonstration, I'm going to open up comp 05B starter. Here I have a camera aimed at this interesting 3D world. I'll set two views horizontal again. Make sure one is still on active camera and set the other one to top so I can see my 3D world. There's my camera. Now a common thing to want to do is to orbit a camera around a set of layers or a 3D object. However, that's tricky because you have to create a Bezier path that exactly swings the camera around in a way that keeps it the right distance away from its point of interest. It can be done, it's a little bit fiddly. Well, experienced animators have learned that the better way of doing this is to create a null object right at that center you want to orbit around and link the camera to that null object. Well, now you no longer have to do it manually. After Effects will do it for you. With my camera selected, I'll go Layer, Camera, Create Orbit Null. And now it will create a null object where my point of interest was previously. I'm going to press Shift F4 to reveal the parenting column. It is parented or linked the camera to that null object. And now, if I want to create a perfect orbit, I go to this camera null that is created, type R to reveal rotation, and just scrub the Y rotation. And now the camera will go around in a perfect arc centered around where that point of interest was originally. Very handy. There's a couple of tricks of using an orbit null rig effectively. One is, is that if you want the camera to go up or down, you actually want to move the null object up or down. I'll type P for position, scrub the Y position, and now I have basically an elevator effect that pulls the camera perfectly up and down while I'm perhaps orbiting it as well. I'm gonna undo back to where I was, which was here. Here's another important tip when working with these orbit camera nulls. Before you set up the null, make sure your camera is in line with its point of interest. I'll press P to reveal its position, then Shift and A to reveal the point of interest, and I'm going to check that the X and Y coordinates are exactly the same. That way, if I scrub just the Z parameter of the camera, it's going to go straight to or away from the point of interest. If I do that, it's going to make it much easier for me later on to push in or pull out from that camera orbit null. I'll select my camera, go layer, camera, create orbit null. I'm going to press R to reveal rotation. I'm going to animate the orbit's Y rotation. And by the way, you want to animate the rotation, not the orientation. Enable keyframing, go later in time, and let's just go one revolution. I'll back up one frame and press N to end my work area. So now I'm orbiting around that new null object. Since I made sure the point of interest and position were lined in the first place, you'll notice that they're all zeroed out except for the Z position of the camera. What this means is I can now scrub that camera Z position and it's going to go exactly in a straight line towards the null and away from the null no matter what that null object is doing. It could be over here where it's rotated, and it'll still push in or pull out in a perfectly straight line. I can even animate those. I'm gonna go back to my start here, keyframe position, start far away, go to my second keyframe at three seconds, and push in close. Press zero on the numeric keypad to ramp preview. And there's a combination of a perfect orbit animation while I'm perfectly pushing in straight to the center of my rotation. And let's undo back to where we started. And let's say what I really want to orbit around is the center of this forward layer, not where the point of interest is currently located. Well, fortunately, a previous version of After Effects added utility to make this a lot easier. I'll make sure my active camera view is forward. I'll select my target layer the front layer, then I'll use not layer, but view. Look at selected layers. And what that will do is tie the camera's point of interest to the center of that layer that I selected. Now, if I was to select the camera and apply layer, camera, create orbit null, R for rotation, 
scrub Y, it will now rotate around that particular layer's center point. So this is handy when you have a more complex setup where you already have a lot of layers arranged and you've decided one of them is going to be your hero.